Hey guys, Magenta is back here today again with another deck profile. As promised in the last video, it will be on my Azi Dehaka deck profile. So even though uh, uh, there's gonna be like new Azi Dehaka support and the new Azi Dehaka and Dragon Zway frag, but uh, it's always been my dream to build an Azi Dehaka deck because it's so cool, man. I mean, like. Wow, size 4 monster, really? How cool is that? So finally, uh, got it from a trade. Uh, yeah, and here we have it. So, let's get on with it. So the flag, new Dragon 9 flag. Uh, you may use cards with Dragon in its attributes and generic cards. There's a printing error in this new secret. Yeah, anyway, that's that. Your initial hand becomes 4 card, your initial gauge becomes 2, and your life becomes 12. Basically you start with 12 life, but only 4 hand cards. So why do you have to be at a disadvantage? Because of uh, the nature of the deck, you can have really strong dragon things. That's why uh, you get to basically uh, losing out on the hand cards. Alright, so anyway, let's move, move on to the deck itself. Our bunny monster is... Yerna of Extinction, Azi Dehaka. It's the new Azi Dehaka with Penetrate and Double Attack. But still a size 4 monster with 10k power, 10k defense. However, with 2 crits instead. So, this card is also regarded as the previous version. Put a card from a field into your drop zone and pay 3 gauge. When this card is destroyed, search your deck or your, your hand for the weapon and equip it. If you search your deck, shuffle it. Yeah, basically that's it. Uh, Strong stats and the weapons borderline OP, I guess. So what makes this this card really good is because of the weapon actually. Yeah, however, one thing bad about this is because it's a size four it requires multiple conditions to be called, including Dragon Throne and a card from a field to be put into a drop zone. Yep, but that's the buddy. So how does how does buddy system work for this deck? Basically, you have two versions of the same. You have two versions of Azi Dhaka, which because they are not of the same name, you can run up to 8 copies, but I'm not going to do that. So anyway, the point is, if one of them is your buddy monster, you can... So, let's say you have this in your hand. So if you want to use his effect, which we'll go through now. Uh, 10k power, 10k defense, uh, 3 crits. Put a card on drop zone. Core cost is the same. His skill is erasure of history. Uh, when this card attacks, it attacks all your opponent's monsters and your opponent instead. And when this card deals damage to your opponent, destroy item. Yep, and the same, when this card is destroyed, such a deck for Demon, Demonic, Demise, Sword, Aquata, Guanef, and Equip It. So basically, if you have this in your hand, you can choose uh, what situation, let's say he has a lot of things for you to clear, and double attack will not suffice. So you just call it without doing a buddy call. However, if you need to, uh, let's say he has a strong center monster and you want to double penetrate him, that sounded really wrong, but yeah, let's say you want to penetrate him twice with... This is Azi Dhaka, you can do a buddy call because they're regarded as same card, so you can do a buddy call and you can use this card and wreck him twice. Yeah, basically that's it, man. That's why actually, uh, I felt that running six copies will do, so I run two of the buddy monsters and four copies of the other one because if this is your buddy monster, you can really call it out with this one. So just two copies of this will do. That's right. So that's it for the size four monsters. Uh, moving on to size 3, one copy of uh, Inverse Second Omni Demon Lord Asmodai. Death Asmodai. Basically, P2 gauge, when this card is destroyed, put the top 3 cards of your deck into your drop zone, call up to 3 monsters from among those cards, and without paying the call cost. Basically, you can call him in the center in early game to tank. After he dies, uh, let's say, whoa, lucky man, reveal 3 cards and you get like all the Azi the Hakas. Basically, you can just call it without paying the call cost. That's very important. However, uh, you must have your Dragon Throne. Otherwise, Azitaka just dies because you can't have size 4. Yeah, one copy of this. And one copy of 5th Omni Dragonaut Crimson Drum. Basically, this card is after you have your OP item, you can use him to tank for you at the side. You can have your item. Yeah, uh, it's Dragon Ball Steve's because Dragon Ball is cool. Use him to tank for you. Basically, pay to gauge, put a top card with your deck into this card. So, uh, when you attack, pay one life, change the target of the attack to this card. So, got 6k power, 6k defense. So, that's just the two Omni Lots we run. 
Next, two copies of Cursed Dragon Tragro Tragos. Size 2 monster from Ancient World. Pay 1 gauge. When this card enters the field, you may choose one of the following two. Put a size 4 monster from a drop zone into your hand, or cast a spell with set from a drop zone by paying its cast cost. Basically, you can recycle your uh, Dragon Throne, or you can recycle your Azidaka from a drop zone. Two copies, because, well, you don't have to recycle it all that often. Two copies will do. And of course, for this deck, the key thing is to draw, draw, and draw. So, three copies of 5th Omni Armored Dragon, Sound Speed, Send. Why this card instead of a uh, Dragon Knight Pissarro? Because I'm actually too broke to afford that. Anyway, a uh, similar stat line with move instead. However, the conditions to draw is different. So maybe early game you can just call him out and you can take some damage to draw. I mean, yeah, and then the next thing you can just kill it off with Azidaka's skill. Yeah, three copies because normally you run three copies of Pissarro. Yeah, but one thing good about this is uh, in the later part of the game you can just attack with it. And maybe next turn you still can draw, or you can move it to protect you instead of Pissarro. So, good pros and cons, I guess. Next size 2 monster, 4 copies of Twin Demon Dragon Zahak. Size 2 monster, 5k power, 2 crits, 4k defense. When this card enters the field, pay 2 life. Search your deck for 1 Azidahaka or Dragon Throat. Basically, both Azidahaka. You can choose either. Depending on the situation or Dragon Throne, depending on what you have on your in your hand. Okay, moving on. Four copies of Dragon Knight Caglio Stroll. Caglio Stroll. Eins Alchemy. When this card enters the field, if you reflect Dragon Knight, draw a card. Basically, cycle your deck. Size 1 monster, 1k power, 1k defense. And 1 crit, that's like pre trash stats. But anyway, he's just there to be there to draw. Basically, if it draws you a card, it means this deck is, this card is not existent in your deck. Yeah. Yep. So, so what items were we talking about? Anyway, two copies of the old one and one copy of the new one. New one has double attack. This card, this card's attack cannot be nullified if it's attacking alone. And blah blah blah. Fifteen k power, two crits. However, the older one is twelve k power, six crits. Uh, however, its skill is for this turn nullify the soul guard of the monster this card attacks. Basically, if you're fighting against Esther, you just hit Esther once. Doesn't have to kill Esther, but as long as you attack Esther, uh, his soul guard is gone for the turn, so you can wreck it with your other monsters, and basically, he doesn't have soul guard. Yeah, and the second part of the effect is second skill is counter act. If your opponent card attacks you alone, nullify the attack. Basically, they, they have to do link attacks. So, let's say they can put up two link attacks per turn instead of four attacks, four normal attacks. I don't know how, maybe with a double attack monster. So anyway, if with two link attacks, right, you all you have to do is just use like two shields instead of four shields. Yeah, it can be risky if you don't have any shields, so they just like link attack you and you just get wrecked. But well Well, but you fight's a luck game. Oh luck! Well not really, skill is important. Alright, four copies of Dragon Throne. Uh you may only cast this card with Flex Dragon Eye. You may put monsters or up to total size 4 on your field. This card and items on your field cannot be returned to hand nor destroyed. And the ability of this card cannot be nullified. That's it. Yeah, basically, your key card to summoning Azidaka. So, next, moving on to the staples of every ancient world deck 4 copies of Divine Dragon Creation. What does it do? Pay 2 life, draw 2 cards. You may only use this card once per turn. And of course, Dragon Emperor Legend. What does it do? Free life, free gauge. And you get to cycle your deck. That's right. Yeah, simple. It's like every Ancient Mode deck or every Azitaka deck will run that. So moving on to the shields. 2 copies of Green Dragon Shield. Why? Because Green Dragon Shield is a bit worse than Black Dragon Shield. So we run 4 copies of Black Dragon Shield instead. So what are the key differences between these two apart from the design and the world? Black Dragon Shield reduces the damage and you gain 1 life. Uh, Green Dragon Shield nullifies the attack and gain 1 life. Basically reduce and nullify are, are different keywords. Basically if you're gonna get hit by Barber Smasher this card will save you but Green Dragon Shield will not. That's the key difference. And of course uh, the staple shield. Blue Dragon Shield for gauge gain. Because Azidaka is a 3 gauge monster, it's gonna sap your gauge really quickly. 
But of course you have Dragon and Pearl Legend to feed you free gauge every turn. Yeah, so that's all for the shields. And lastly, one copy of Soaring Dragon Fair Skylines. Pay two gauge, draw three cards, discard two cards from your hand. You may only cast this card once per turn. Basically you get to uh just draw your deck and discard all the useless cards. Basically, uh how I like to use it is if I have like too many Azi Darkas, I just use it and I can discard the extra da Azi Darkas. Yeah, that's it. So next, 100 Demon Sorcery, Runeryu Show. Destroy a monster if you put a top card of your deck into your gate, you mainly cast these cards once per turn. But does it do? Let's say you made the biggest mistake of your life by calling Azi Darka to your center when you're up against a Shadow Dive deck. So all you can do, use this card. Sacrifice Azi Darka, equip your item, equip your item, and of course you can call another one to the side from now on. Yeah, just one copy will do. I mean, you don't really want to kill your own monster. Oh, another way you can use it is basically if they are gonna penetrate Azi Darka, you just kill it by this effect so they are not killed by the penetrate itself. So it's alive. No, it's not alive. I mean, it's still dead, but well, you can to keep your life. All right. Lastly. Two copies of Dragon Lord Initiation Giga Howling Crusher. It's a Dragon Ball Impact card. Pay three gauge. Do damage to your opponent equal to the sum of your the critical of your item plus the sum of the monster that you chose. So you mainly cast this card with a body monster or a monster with drum, and you have an item equipped, and neither you nor your opponent has a monster in the center. Basically, what this does is works super well with your this crazy item with six crits, six crits. You see, six crits. Damn it! So you have Azi Daka. That's your body monster because they're the same card. I mean, yeah. So it's either eight damage or nine damage. However, if you have this, not too bad. It's four to five damage. And of course, it uh, unintended synergy is with your drum guy drum because it's a drum so you can use that because Gaon Kado uses this card that's why all drums can work with it so anyway we only have one drum so not that significant but the point is you get to deal like up to nine damage to your opponent with just three gauge and damage cannot be reduced basically black dragon shield cannot save his ass anymore so that's it for the deck profile guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like down below show me some support if you're new on my channel subscribe you'd like to see more body fight deck profiles card reviews and stuff like that also, be sure to add me on Facebook and talk to me about Body Fight. And maybe you can comment on my decks. Yeah, that's right. Goodbye. Take care. See you in the next video, which will be on my Guardian Stack profile. Bye.